Hi. I I know some people are wondering why I have named my channel Peace Be Still. It was a long process of me naming that. I had couldn't figure out what to name my channel. And I'm always because of who I am and the things that come at me daily, it's a struggle for me to keep my mind at peace. Stuff's always coming at me and my mind's always going. And it had been a, a great struggle in my life until I moved out here on this little farm and I started taking care of chickens. And it was the first time in my life, well, not the first time, but since I was a child, I was raised on a farm. And then about the time that I hit my teen years, uh, 11, 12, we had moved to a city. And since then, I could not, I could not find any peace. My mind was always just struggling. I think I was actually younger than that when we moved into the city. But um, it was hard for me to find a peaceful spot. And then once I got older and I learned to deal with the sexual abuse that I had had when I was younger um, and the things that I did in a, as a result of that abuse uh, to forgive myself and to forgive others. I finally got that peace. I finally got that peace in my mind and I could breathe. You know, it's like taking in that fresh air. So when we moved about seven years ago back to the country again, I felt at peace again. And it, I had forgotten what that was like. And I had prayed about what I should name my channel for, oh goodness, a year or so. I had it. It was named something else, but I never did post any videos or anything. Something kept drawing me to do that. <coughs> and I was always shy. I, I don't I don't do well with public. So or being in crowded spaces. But then I started getting asked to do the videos on how I learned to calm my mind, how I learned to to calm my inner self and how I was able to pray and know that God is with me and how to let him flow through me and helping others. When I finally got myself fixed, which, you know, as I said before, I work on that daily. I was able to help others and it's just little pieces of things I share with them about how I do things if it, it gets chaotic for me in my head a lot <laughs> a lot <laughs> but it's um I've learned how to manage it and that's basically what we're doing we're managing we're forcing that peace to become be on us and when I was praying about it, the Bible verses kept coming to me. You know, I talk a lot about Mark, you know, the chapters Mark and Luke and um, I like Matthew. Those chapters, it Jesus talks a lot to us, you know. I always read the red words. Those are the important parts. And I... Uh, and when he told his disciples and the 70 laborers to go, when he went into these homes and, and these towns, when they walked in, they were supposed to say, peace be upon this place. And it was supposed to give them a peace of mind and peace of knowing that, you know, God was with them. And if it, God was there, they were to stay and then they were do his work. But if they were not there, they were to turn their back and walk away. And the more I said that, the more I keep thinking, peace be still, peace be still. 
because I just want my mind to stay still sometimes. And I didn't feel that till I moved back out here. And when I get too chaotic, I find um, running water. I know that sounds silly. There's a place called, what is it called? Meldal Dam. It's not, well, it is a little dry for me. But I'll go to it sometimes. It's a power plant, you know, that the river runs through. And I don't know. It's like the energy, the water is just charged. And it's such a grounding place for me. And my cousin Sheila and Anitra, which is the first time I mentioned her name. <laughs> Hope she don't mind. But me, Sheila, and Anitra. And when I go there, it's just, or we go there, it's like we're getting re-energized and we're letting all of our baggage just go with the river down the you know go down the river away from us and I just kept thinking peace be still peace be still so that's how my name for the channel came about and I <laughs> it's it's this is different for me videoing things I keep thinking um I need to pick up the camera more because it's not just about me showing people how to calm the mind how to deal with the spiritual energy that's coming at them how to focus it's also about being here knowing God is with us doing our daily things, sharing pieces of what I do with everyone. <laughs> it's a struggle at times. There are things that I do, you know, that I think I, nobody wants to know what that's like. You know, I take care of my chickens. It's like the other day, I we have so much ice out here we had, I guess, a half inch of ice in a couple days, and then the drifting of the snow and the sleet on top of that, and it's just built up so much in front of my coop that I actually had to saw my way into the coop. That was a first for me. <laughs> I jumped in the coop, and I was like, girls, I'm here. My hands just scattered except for one that I call Red and she come running to me like oh I'm so happy to see you <laughs> but my life and this channel when I first started it I was so scared and I got on there not to boast about anything because I still don't boast today it's very scary for me to know that people know what I do it, it really takes me out of my comfort zone. Those that knew that I helped word of mouth, they really didn't know me. They knew a person that was close to me. So I don't see those people anymore. So those people don't, I don't think about. But then by word of mouth, people kept coming to me. And that was a lot of praying, a lot of soul searching for me. <laughs> And asking God, how are you going to work for me today to help somebody? I've been told by three different people that I was considered a spiritual healer. People that I didn't know. And I just say, I don't know what I am. I'm just a child of God. Because that's all I could think to say. Because whatever he wants me to do, I just do it. And it's very, it's a struggle at times. A lot of times. A big struggle but that's what I when I get scared or my mind gets overwhelmed I think of that light and I think of it going through me breathing that light in you know his love the air I I sat and I listened to the noise like you could you might be able to hear my guinea fowl in the background I don't know sometimes they're not so peaceful but I like hearing their little, their little bitty cries. The siren part of it, 
you can take it. <laughs> but the rest of it I love. Here I am rambling again. Stay focused, stay strong, and know that God is always with us. Bye.